Here we're given a triangle with vertices A, B, and C, and we want to determine the equation of the median from vertex A to B, C. So I'm going to begin this question by just drawing a random picture of a triangle. So here it is. Here is one side. Here is my other side. I have no idea how this triangle looks like. I'm just drawing a random triangle. And there we have it. I'm going to call this here vertex A at the top. Vertex B, I'll make it down here. And vertex C, I'll make it over here. The coordinates are negative 4, comma 2. For A, for B, it's 5, comma 6. And I know that these, if this were in a plane, my picture would be completely different, but it does not matter because all I'm concerned about is are the properties of this triangle. And for C, I have 1 and negative 4. So what I want to determine is the equation of the median from vertex A. Now, what is a median? A median is a line that goes from the vertex that is indicated to the midpoint of the opposite side. This line goes infinite in both directions. Over here, I'm going to call this center point. I'm going to call it M. So this is my midpoint here, which, because we know the endpoints, we can calculate. So this is equal to this. So we want to find the equation of this line. We'll put it in the form y equals mx plus b. And we're going to go about finding what the value of m is and what the value of b is. Now m is our slope. And to have a slope of a line, we need at least two points on that line. Right now, I only have one. That's the a. But I can figure out another one the m value. How, you ask? Well, like we mentioned before, it's the midpoint of b and c. So let's go about figuring that out now. Starting with the midpoint of bc, I'm going to open up here at the side a bit. So we have midpoint, call it m, of bc. And according to the formula, it is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 equals, let's plug in the value, we're looking at b and c, so I have 5 plus 1 divided by 2, comma, 6 minus 4 divided by 2, comma, gives me 3 comma 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, I get 3 comma 1. So there's my midpoint, 3 comma 1, let's write it in, coordinates for m, and now I can figure out my slope. Okay, I have a, I have m, my slope is given by the equation m equals y2 minus y1, so I'll have 1 minus, let's see my a value here, 1 minus 2 over 3 minus negative 4. What do I end up with here? Let's do the math. So I get negative 1 over 7. And I believe that's as far as we can go. There it is. There's our slope. Negative 1 over 7 corresponds to the slope of this line here. Let's substitute it into the equation, what we have so far. Initially, we did not know the slope, but now we do. We know it's negative 1 over 7. Now for the b value, that's this guy at the side here. We have to know at least one point passing through this line, and we actually know two. We know the value of a, which is up here, and we know the value of m, which is down here. So we can pick either one of those, and it'll generate the same b value. So let's start off with the point, or let's choose the point 3, 1. So for y, I'm going to replace it with a 1 because it's the y coordinate. And for the x value, I'm going to replace it with a 3. 3 over here, then I have a plus b. What do I end up with? I end up with 1 equals negative 3 over 7 plus b. If I bring this over, I get 1 
plus 3 over 7. And then if I simplify by adding these fractions, that is 1. Well, actually, remember this is 1 over 1. Multiply both by 7. I get 7 over 7 plus 3 over 7 is equal to B. And that means B is equal to 10 over 7. We add the numerators, common denominator, and we're good. So our final equation, this B, we can replace it with the 10 over 7. So this becomes plus 10 over 7. And there you have it. There is our equation of the median right here in all its glory.